The crypto market has not looked too great over the last couple of days. Many people were expecting the end of 2021 to see a big rally in the crypto market, pushing Bitcoin to new record highs, but the exact opposite has happened. We've actually seen Bitcoin experience a bit of a correction from $52,000 per coin down to $46,500, but there is some good news. So today I just wanted to quickly talk about what's going on in the market, a couple of key technical indicators that you need to be aware of. We're gonna go over some good news, some bad news, and everything else you need to be aware of. So if you enjoy this sort of content, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right in. Right now, overall crypto market sitting at a $2.23 trillion market cap. And over the last 48 hours, we've seen a bit of a correction take place. Bitcoin's price was as high as $52,000 per coin on December 27th, 2021, before experiencing a correction down to $46,500. The good news here, before we get into some of the other things going Going on. The good news here is that when we hit 46,500, we saw massive amounts of buying pressure. You can see right here, this long tail right here shows that there is a lot of buying pressure in that $46,500 per coin range, showing that there is, you know, people very bullish on the market. And that is a key support line right there. So that is good news. But the thing that everyone invested in crypto needs to be aware of right now and what is going to hold the market back over the next couple of days is six billion dollars worth of options that are expiring on friday december 31st i believe and this is a very important date because six billion dollars of options are set to expire and it's 129 option contracts total it is much higher than the typical amount really this is because you know end of the year always sees higher amounts of option contracts expire than just a normal week throughout the year. But the key thing here is that according to data, what we see is that typically Bitcoin tends to move towards the max pain point in the lead up to an uh, expiration of op option contracts. And the key thing here is that the price um, is usually manipulated by institutional investors to have this max pain point. And what I mean by this is the point that creates maximum losses, so-called the pain point for option buyers. The point that creates maximum losses is going to be if Bitcoin's price is below $48,000 per coin because more people have calls than puts. So as a result of this, institutional inv investors are going to manipulate the market, keep Bitcoin's price below that $48,000 per coin range as much as they can so many of these option contracts um, expire worthless. So this is why we're seeing the market held back right now and probably going to see it continue to remain below that $48,000 per coin range. But the other thing of good news, I want to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our channel partner, Bicker. Bickert is a crypto engineering organization focused on blockchain technology products and audit solutions. Their token called the Bryze token will be used as a peer-to-peer -peer service for payment systems using their DApp wallet, allowing two individuals to interact directly with each other without any sort of intermediary or third party. The Bryze DApp wallet is a multi-coin wallet app that allows you to send, receive, store, and swap various different cryptocurrencies safely. This is very important in the crypto world. The program provides you with a secure access key that keeps your assets safe against unauthorized access and also has multi-coin support that enables you to purchase and swap thousands of coins and blockchain types. Bry's DApp Wallet will be available for installation on iOS and Android very soon. And one of the coolest features about Bickert is their staking program, which is already live, where every single transaction Bry's holders are rewarded with BUSD stablecoin. They are in talk with two tier one exchanges, KuCoin and Gate.io, and will potentially be listing there very, very soon. So this project is definitely worth taking a look at and use the code in the description and check out Bitgert today. Because we talked about, you know, massive buying pressure at 46,500. But the other piece of good news is that we're actually seeing the RSI flip completely. And we've seen it actually start to trend upwards now along this yellow line right here, this yellow support. Over the last couple of months, we had actually seen from uh, about October, end of October to early December, we had seen the RSI trend downwards. You can see this yellow line right here, trending downwards. 
but finally we flipped and now it's starting to trend back up again which is a good sign bullish sign for the overall crypto market because historically when this happens we see bitcoin's price continue to push higher other thing is that we're also seeing Bitcoin still mimic the price movements of Bitcoin um, and, and mimic the price movements of 2020. So right now in 2021, if we compare the charts of 2021 versus 2020, we are still seeing very similar price movements to Bitcoin's charts. And this is important because even though we are not experiencing the same kind of rally at the end of December 2021 that we did in December of 2020, the key thing here is that this bull market right now is taking a lot longer than people expected. We're seeing a lengthening cycle. So seeing that when you compare each phase of this run to back in 2020, the important thing here is that each phase is lining up nearly identical in terms of the MACD, in terms of the RSI. And this shows us that while, you know, we may take a little bit longer to reach all time record highs, still we are right on track. And then last thing I want to talk about with the overall market is going to be one thing that has huge potential to increase crypto um, adoption, increase the overall crypto market in 2022. And that is with Robinhood. Robinhood just just came out and they said they are officially going to be rolling out their crypto wallet features to tens of thousands of users who are on their wait list starting mid-January. And their COO of their crypto division came out and said that while some people think 2021 is the year that crypto went mainstream. The truth is that most people are still familiarizing themselves with the asset class and how to navigate the blockchain. Um, with the launch of wallets, Robinhood is thrilled to play a significant role in welcoming a broad range of investors to the crypto sphere for the very first time. And the key thing here is that Robinhood has a huge impact on the overall market. Many people who got into crypto for the first time got into Dogecoin or Bitcoin or Ethereum directly on the Robinhood app. So seeing Robinhood roll out their crypto feature starting mid-January 2022, that will only have positive impacts on the overall crypto market and is going to be something that you definitely want to keep an eye out for because the only thing that this will do is have positive impacts on the market, which could be the catalyst we need to really see the market start to take back off again. So that's what's going on with the overall crypto market. Even though we've seen a little bit of a correction, I'm still very bullish on the overall market as long as we stay above this right here, $45,000 per coin. As long as we stay above $45,000 per coin, I'm still very bullish on the market and where we are right now. I'll keep an eye on it over the next couple of days, but I'm not expecting it to get above $48,000 per coin or really break out until after those options, those $6 billion worth of option contracts expire. So that's what's going on. Let me know your thoughts on the overall market, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you guys.